If you're interested in quantum computing and don't have a background in physics, you may have heard the term phase a lot and didn't know what it meant. So let's explain. As you probably know, we express the states in a quantum computer as complex vectors, and we can represent them as linear combinations of the basis states where the coefficients are complex numbers. A phase vector is any complex number with an absolute value of one that is multiplied in our state. For example, we can have one, minus one, i, minus i, and so on. In the general case, this number is expressed as e to the i theta. In this case, theta is called the phase. So one has phase zero, minus one has phase pi, i has the phase pi over two and so on. There can be a global phase that multiplies the entire state. This means it multiplies all the terms of a possible superposition. This kind of phase is undetectable by any kind of operation or measurement. So we usually ignore it. For example, the state minus zero minus one is equivalent to the state zero plus one because the minus sign can be factored out as a global phase and ignored. The same goes for minus zero plus one, which is equivalent to zero minus one. And for any kind of phase factor and any state, you get the idea. But there is also a relative phase, which means a difference in phase factors between the terms of a superposition. This kind of phase cannot be ignored and is generally very important in many quantum algorithms, like Grover's search, the quantum Fourier transform, phase estimation, and so on. This relative phase is what creates the famous quantum interference. We all know that zero plus one is the plus state and is not the same as zero minus one, which is the minus state. These all differ from zero plus I one or zero minus I one by having different relative phases. So there you have it. I hope it's clearer to you now what a phase is and how one kind of phase factor is more important than the other. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the section below. Thanks for watching.